Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to share how to create generational wealth through property investing. I hope this video would be an eye opener to you or video that would enable you to kickstart your property journey. And if you already started your property journey, I hope this video would help you scale your, your property investment journey to the next level. If you like this video or any of my videos, hit the like button below, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of these amazing tutorials. So, if you want to create wealth through property investing, you have to have a solid, massive, gigantic goals, right? You have to have these goals because the goals are the element or the driving force that gets you to where you want to go because it's, it helps you move step by step. It helps you get the progress. Suppose you set yourself a target to buy five properties a year. If you buy one, you know you've got four left. You buy two, you've got three left, right? So if you haven't set that goal, right you won't really know where you're going right it's like having a ferrari right you want to go to birmingham but you don't even really know where to start okay you don't even know how to turn the sat nav on so you won't get anywhere so you have to set those goals and then obviously draw a roadmap to get to those goals and set these targets tell yourself i need to buy this property at a specific date Okay, you have to be specific. You have to have smart goals and smart targets because if you don't have it, you won't be able to have a great KPIs. You won't be able to know whether you've achieved it or not. Set yourself a target. Okay, I want to get X properties by X month and you have to even do the day. Is it on the 25th, the 23rd, whatever day it is, make sure you put a date in it. Then you go out there and actually execute it okay very very important if you want to create wealth through property investing and also number two buy properties for long term okay don't buy properties because um, you see everybody's buying or thinking you're going to get your all your money out instantly if you've got that fantastic if you know what to do brilliant but you have to think long term when you're buying properties because it's not something that you buy from the shop or something or a grocery you can buy from a supermarket. You're buying it for a very, very long term. When I say long term, you're talking about 10, 15, 20 or even 100 years. Some of some of us will leave our properties for our um, uh, generations. As as I've already said earlier on in, in this video. So you have to buy it for the long term. You want your children your grandchildren and your great great grandchildren to benefit from your investment properties how amazing that is so it's absolute amazing thing to do so make sure we buy for long term and whatever works we need to do in the properties we make sure we do it the right way right we do it the right way first time round instead of saying okay i'm going to do whatever it takes to get the property rented now and then in about five six years time i will actually um uh, try to do the works then no whatever you need to do now do it now don't wait till till the other day do not procrastinate about it because you're doing it for long term not just for yourself for your children for your grandchildren and for your great 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 grandchildren so think about that property is a long-term game okay number three remortgage to a lower interest rate okay so if you're on a five percent interest rate or if you're in a six percent interest rate what you could do you go out there get a get a get, get an experienced mortgage broker that could go out there look for you for the best interest rate okay when i said the best interest i'm talking about the lowest interest rate that are out there okay that you could take advantage of and also by then your property price hopefully would have gone up so what you do you get a lower interest rate remortgage pull some of that investment back out and then guess what you go and buy more properties okay so get lower interest rate and pull some of that investment out and go and buy more properties. Obviously, if the property price has gone up, you may have um, increased mortgage interest to pay. But however, if you've got a lower interest rate, that would compensate them because obviously the interest rate would have gone up, say, from 6% to about 3 or 4%. Very important for you to have a good mortgage broker to help you with that. And then if you think this video has been helping you right now, don't forget to hit the share button so you can share it with, with, with family and friends so they can also learn from this video. Number four, hedge against inflation. Okay, very important. What do I mean by hedge against inflation? Unless you're living under a rock right now, property prices has gone up significantly right now. Not, not just property prices, 
all prices has gone up. You go to the grocery shop today, it's very, very expensive to buy your groceries. If you go out to, if you go out to the shopping center to buy clothing, very, very expensive. So we need to hedge against this. So how do we hedge against inflation? We need to be, it's important we increase our rent in a yearly basis, okay? Don't forget to do this, very, very important. When I started my property journey, actually, I forgot to do this, right? But now in all my investment properties, I have a reminder as well as in the contract and all the tenants, all the contract in the tenant, I, I, I issued to my tenant includes the increase there, right? And he also talked about the um, consumer price index to ensure that to, 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 to um, let them know that um, we would be increasing the, the rent in a yearly basis. So obviously very important for you to be able to, to do that in a yearly basis. If you've never increased your rent in your property, it's about time to start thinking about that. Very important, no matter how nice the tenant is, right? Because I've heard some landlord approach me in my office the other day, oh, he really wants to increase rent. But this tenant has been absolutely amazing with them. The, the tenant has looked after the property and he is reluctant to actually increase the rent. And his rent is significantly below market rent he hasn't increased rent for the past five years okay and now he's a bit worried that um he would offend the tenant if he start increasing rent i, I told him listen interest rate has gone up since, since since the time you bought the property and also inflation has increased significantly so find a way you can communicate it with your tenant to let them know that you love them so much but for your business to, to be viable you'd have to increase the rent in a yearly basis so again it's about how to communicate but make sure you have that contract that says rent would be increased in a yearly basis if it's a six month tenancy again put it in there to say your rent would increase okay so that they are aware about it because if you don't tell them or if it's not in the contract then some of them would not abide to it because they will say it doesn't say in, in the contract why should i increase it so very important if you haven't done it as soon as this tenancy agreement expires the new one you're going to draft include that increase in there because that would hedge you against any rise in inflation actually as well as uh, um, interest rate and then obviously the the number five thing you need to do also you need to adjust your exposure very, very important. What do I mean by adjust your exposure? It's important we diversify our property portfolio, especially if we're thinking about creating wealth for our children, great, 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 great grandchildren. So what do I mean by that diversification? Is basically, if you're doing buy to let, fantastic, right? Great idea. Do your buy to let, but start mixing it up. Maybe you want to do flats a bit and or maybe you want to do HMO properties which would gen generate a lot more cash flow or maybe you want to start buying mixed use properties properties that got commercial unit on the ground floor and then flat above the properties okay so that could be another way you could diversify or you can you can start doing rent to rent where you rent a property for, from a landlord and you rent it out um, to um, room by room basis or you can do service accommodation so and again that's a very good way to diversify your um, property portfolio or you could do rent to service accommodation where you rent the apartment and then obviously use it as service accommodation or you could do holiday there's so many diversification in property if if i want if i said i would go through the list i will end up having more than three or four five hours video but yeah think about diversifying your portfolio so that you don't get too much of an exposure in one asset class so very very important and the number six thing you need to consider which is very very important if not the most important thing out of this is to consider gifting your properties okay consider gifting them because if you gift your properties before you pass away there will be tax benefit for the people who inherit the properties okay and you can gift it with a clause in it as well because i've got some some landlords that came to me i said oh i cannot gift it because if i gift it my my um, children may, i might actually kick me out of the business okay so they don't want to gift it but there's always clause you you could put clause in there right where you could get the benefit of the property um until you die or things like that but consider gifting it to to, to your children just in case um if you passed away then obviously you they don't have to pay heavy tax in those properties because inheritance tax is absolutely crazy if you haven't structured it ni nicely so think about it how you could gift it to your to your children at the same time have right over the properties okay very very important and i hope this video has has been helpful and i hope you can go out there think about it and execute it's not just watching the videos actually but it's actually going out there implementing what i'm saying i know it's simple and basic but trust me if you implement it it will change your life 
your family's life, your grandchildren's life, your great, 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 great grandchildren's life. And also it would help you create generational wealth through property investing. I really hope this video has been helpful. If you like this video or any of my videos, hit the like button below, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of this amazing tutorial. I look forward to sharing the next video. Thank you.